Hey everybody, how about some good news for a change? If you're joining us for the first time, thank you for joining us here at the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to put out videos on a daily basis if possible. And with that said, let's talk about something positive. With all the negativity surrounding the Washington Commanders, some positive news this week. Brian Robinson, the junior, Brian Robinson Jr., the junior. <laughs> coffee time, man, coffee. Um, Brian Robinson has been cleared to play, and so he returned back to practice. And the Washington Commanders are at least getting their number one running back back. Now, the running game has suffered. I would say especially against the uh, the Eagles and then certainly against the Lions, we didn't have a very good running game. We actually had a decent running game against the Dallas Cowboys. We matched up pretty well with them in, in terms of that. But Brian Robinson is, is one of those backs that no matter what, he's going to get positive yards. And he doesn't kind of dance around. He, he hits the hole hard and he moves the pocket. He moves the bodies of, of tacklers trying to get him down, and he's going to get some positive yards. And uh, so it's great to, to have him back. Um, you know, Washington Commanders running back Brian Robson Jr. is one step closer to returning to the field and making his NFL debut. Um, <coughs> excuse me, the third round pick from Alabama landed on the non football injury list after being shot in late August. It's been a wild road for Robinson, but the commanders reveal that they have a plan for him. Uh, Coach Rivera said, we will be activating him. Our intention, where we, we are going to start his clock, basically. He is on the short-term IR. We have a 21-day window, and we'll start that officially on Wednesday. If everything continues to go in the right direction, he was cleared by the doctors and given the all-good we just got to make sure once we get to Wednesday, we can go through that. That way, we get to the 21 days from that Wednesday. With Robson cleared by doctors, he can practice, but he will need to be added to the main roster before he plays in the game. The commanders want to prevent that from happening as long as possible because it will mean that the team needs to make a corresponding move, which could involve cutting a player or placing someone else on injured reserve. And given the unique circumstances of Robinson's injury, the commanders are erring on the side of caution. We have to be smart about how we're going to handle him. Uh, we got to handle those expectations. We got to handle, we also got to handle what he's going to go through physically and mentally. It is a different set of circumstances. I don't know of any other player that I've coached that's had to go through this. So there you go, Brian Robinson. Now, I, this doesn't sound like that he's going to play against the Titans. Um, you know, with this being a 21-day window, you know, I would say that Ron Rivera is likely not to play him against the Titans, especially now seeing the fact that the Commanders are going through such a rough time. Um, I think he would love to be able to get the commanders back rolling again, um, winning some football games so that he can he can kind of ease Robinson back into playing instead of just throwing him in there when obviously the team is in a bad shape right now. So um, I do agree with Rob. Uh, I actually do agree with uh, Ron Rivera on this. I, I don't think you rush him back uh, because the running game. Even though it hasn't been great, it hasn't been the reason why Washington has been losing. Okay, uh, the Commanders have been losing for many different reasons, and Robinson being out has not been the reason. Now, Robinson coming back in and playing is going to definitely help quite a bit, but it's not going to be the difference maker. Um, and I'm not trying to put Robinson down at all. I think Robinson can be a difference maker, but I don't think that he's going to be the one who can single-handedly um, turn this this uh, the season around because 
there's more systemic issues going on deeply with this team than just a lack of a running game. So I think that you probably won't see Robinson against the Titans, um, and maybe you do. Maybe he does suit up, but uh, as Rivera you know, alerted to, alluded to, um, they have to make a corresponding move in order to activate Robinson to um, – you know, the active roster. So who do they move? You know, who do they put on IR? That's going to be the kicker right there. Um, you certainly don't want Josh, uh, Josh, Jahan Dotson. I, I have, I cannot be the only one who's doing that. You don't want uh, John Dotson to be thrown on IR for the rest of the year, right? Um, and he's going to be out for at least a couple of weeks because of his hamstring. Now, you know, if his hamstring starts to be one of those nagging injuries that won't heal, maybe you do that. But I would really hate for that to happen with Jahan Dotson. Hopefully he's, he's okay. It's just probably going to be like a, a game or two that he's going to be out. Um, so I don't know what corresponding move you make. I mean, a lot of people uh, would probably look at someone on the defensive side of the ball and say, hey, let's just cut this dude. Um I don't know. I don't know. It would be interesting to see uh, what moves that they make. Maybe, I don't know if they could do this. Maybe they, they take Trey Turner and, you know, maybe they relegate him back to the practice squad, deactivate him, and and uh, put Robinson in. That could be possibly what happens, maybe. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, because, you know, obviously Trey Turner is not ready to play according to Ron Rivera. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a good thing to see Brian Robinson back. We definitely need his, um, his talent. And I think so will Antonio Gibson. It's going to make Antonio Gibson better as well. Because now we don't have to run Antonio Gibson as much. Because, you know, yes, every time that Antonio Gibson gets the ball, there is always that chance of like, oh no, please don't fumble. <laughs> and so being able to use Antonio Gibson to kind of spell Robinson and to be more of the pass receiver out of the backfield uh, will open things up even more uh, for Scott Turner's play calling, if Scott Turner can improve on his play calling. So, you know, there are definitely some positives. But I don't think you're going to see Robinson play against the Titans. Um, I think you'll probably see him um, maybe the following week, but I, th I think we have we may have the Vikings that week. I'll have to check, but uh, we're probably not going to see them against the Titans. Um, and yeah, let, let's, let's not forget the man was shot, right? So this is a different injury than, you know, uh, him suffering like a pulled hamstring or something like that. This is him getting shot. This is a, um, a situation where he almost lost his life. So there's going to be some some mental things going on as well. So you do have to make sure that he's ready to come back mentally, physically, and all of that. Um, let me know in the comments section what you think. Um, you think Having Brian Robinson back is going to really help us. Do you think he should try to come back for the Titans game? Let me know in the comments section below. Again, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another Washington Football Maniacs video release here. You can also support this channel uh, on Patreon. I have tried to revamp my Patreon page and I only have... One tier, I don't have all these mini tiers on it. I have one membership tier of $3 a month. Um, I would have went lower if I could, um, but it's $3 a month. So if you want to really help this channel out, help us out by uh, becoming a member there. I'll probably open up channel memberships here at some point, but uh, for right now, you can do that. And you can also support me in other ways, Cash App. Venmo, whatever you want to do, here you go.